Chancellor Gilbert, listen. I need you to please calm down. I had a premonition. <sighs> it appears your fiance, Miss Marianne, will die today. <sighs> Why? <sighs> Do not touch her, you thug. <sighs> I'm Maria. You tried to change the laws for your own self-centered reasons. And then you went so far as to try to get into human trafficking. You even intended to sell the royal family's confidential information. Will you admit to this and live the rest of your days as a criminal? If so, then with your fiancé as the root of all evil, I will... Stale! <clears throat> I don't understand, Pride. Why are you showing compassion to a man like this? I'm sorry, Stale. But this man isn't the kind of person you should put your trust in. That may be, but he's still one of my many beloved subjects. But that subject has hurt you, Pride. And your name has been... Thank you, Stale, truly. I'm sure that you've been watching over me, even when I wasn't aware of it. <laughs> I apologize to you. <sighs> Maria. Oh, Maria. Gilbert Butler, listen closely. Both you and your fiance are forgiven. Oh. want to save. However, in order to do that, I need you. But I warn you, your life will change in a major way. <sighs> and I have no idea if the result will be good or bad. What are you talking about? Huh? You changed my life. Many years ago, I trust you completely. 
I would be more than willing to sacrifice my life for you. <sighs> hey, Pride! Huh? What is it? Why do you look like that? No time to explain. We must hurry! <sighs> Maria. No. You can't go. Please. Don't die. Not yet. Maria. Arthur, lay your hand upon her. <sighs> Arthur, your special ability isn't limited to only crops. Your actual special ability is... the power to heal all of creation! going to be okay. I can be with Gil once more. And you know, by saving my life today, you saved Gil. <sighs> Arthur wasn't supposed to understand the truth of his ability until five years from now. I've twisted that. But I have no regrets. I've made my decision with everything in mind. Pride. <gasps> Thank you. I really mean it, Sam. Huh? Are you saying I was able to be of use to you and grant you your wish? <laughs> yes, of course you were. <clears throat> now, Stale, explain. How have you become a man so suddenly? It was Gilbert's doing. Hurry up! Let's go! Wait a minute. Now this person can surely get us there much faster. He can even manipulate the ages of others. How extraordinary! Princess Pride, uh. I am truly, very truly grateful to you. I thank you with all my heart. Please lift your head, Gilbert. I am not the one who saved her. That was not me. Forgive me. Uh, I've committed so many unforgivable acts. I've spread vicious rumors around the castle about you, and I tried to get more allies for the Law Resolution Committee by unsavory means. And what's more, I kept purchasing information on special ability users from people with immoral dealings. When you caught me earlier, I intended to give them anything. Intel on the castle's defenses, information about you, and even about the royal family. I have prepared myself. I am ready to undergo any punishment you deem fit for me. Then if I am correct in thinking that you are entrusting me with your judgment, you need to be prepared. I am. It is my decree that I have no intention of blaming you for this. However, now that I have heard what you have done from you yourself, Gilbert, I cannot excuse this. I would not expect you to. Chancellor Gilbert Butler. Chancellor Gilbert Butler. Are you prepared to disclose 
all of what you have told me to my mother and father. Wait, what? You're tormented by the consciousness of your punishment, but you've had no one to pass judgment on you for the crimes you have committed up to this point. I command Miss Marianne and the maids to do the following. Please forget everything you have seen and heard here. Are you saying... Are you saying you are willing to forgive me? An abhorrent criminal like myself? I will not forgive you. <gasps> but you will swear an oath. To me. To everyone here. And to her. Your beloved for whom you would throw it all away. You will work hard. For the people of this country. As long as the monarch desires you do so, you will continue on as the chancellor of our country. <laughs> He's someone who can manipulate age and never grow old. Even when we die, even when his beloved Marianne dies of old age, if he says he will keep this vow, then he must continue to live after her death. Just like at the end of the game. In the Gil route, it ended with a vow to Tiara. There is no doubt that my sins have truly damned this body. That being the case, I promise I will continue to protect the people of this country you love until divine judgment is handed down upon me. Certainly, Your Majesty. With humility, I shall vow here and now that until the moment my heart ceases to beat and my body is gone, I will protect this country's people. This is the only way. I can only pass judgment on you by binding you to your chancellor duties. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Uh -huh. <gasps> oh. Uh Could he possibly be? I get it. That is not what this is about! The back of the hand means reverence. And the tip of the toes means adoration. The back of the leg is servitude. The shin is obedience. Uh, but still... Uh. <sighs> Don't look at me! take this opportunity to pledge myself to you, the first princess of our country, your highness, pride, royal ivy. I pledge to you my wholehearted allegiance here and now and forever. For giving a reprehensible criminal like me a chance to once again devote myself to the country I love, I give you my utmost gratitude. I will never forget this kindness, including what was done for Marianne. <clears throat> I'm holding you to that. I thought that you'd be in here. By the way, I told you not to hang out in places without the owner of that place with you. Did you talk with the captain? About your ability? Yeah, then I talked to Clark about it. Were they surprised? Well, yeah. So, are you sure you'll stay a night? Your special ability truly has amazing value. You can make a fortune and become a member of the royal family. If you become a doctor, you'll be able to save loads more people than if you remained a knight. It's not about remaining a knight. Being a knight is just who I am. I get it. Princess Pride was unfair for all of that. Give it up. My elder sister has always been that way. I know that. Mm -hmm. So? Huh? I guess you were fine with it all then? With what? Oh, quit playing dumb, Stale. You don't think much of Gilbert. True. Honestly, I can't forgive him. And there were some close calls. But... It was all because my elder sister was there. Come on now, aren't you pissed off? 
I suppose. Cut the crap! Knock it off with that sneaky little smile. It isn't gonna work on me, okay? If there's something you want to say, spit it out. I know you're pissed off. That jerk trampling all over you and Princess Pride pissed you off! Yeah! I am pissed off! I hate him! Just what is up with him? He's always nagging and nagging and he spews such sarcastic things and pride with that stupid cold face of his! And still, his hey, job is Chancellor Superior? And on top of that, he's more powerful than me? Give me a freaking break already! What? You call that strong? That cryptic eyed jerk? Yeah! That cryptic eyed jerk is strong! <laughs> I guess maybe I didn't protect Princess Pride. That time when Gilbert's rage was aimed directly at her, you know? I failed her. In the end, I was so powerless against that man. Even though I've been through so much so far, up to now and including today, I couldn't protect Elder Sister! Huh? Boo, man! What the hell do you mean you couldn't protect her? You were protecting her, Stale. You've been protecting Princess Pride way before even I was. When I was just a little kid, the entire town was overflowing with awful rumors about Pride. But now, I hardly ever hear a thing. You're the one who stamped them out. You continued to support her so she wouldn't suffer a setback. You were there for her even when she didn't think she needed you. That was all you, Stale. You think you may not have protected the princess? Of course you did! But do you really think you can protect her from absolutely everything all by yourself? That's why I'm here! You're the shield and I'm the sword. All right? Uh. Let's make a promise. Uh -huh. From here on out, when Princess Pride makes a move, you must be sure to call me no matter what. Without question! I promise that I will protect Princess Pride, Princess Tiara, and you! Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, but you are just too darn flashy, you know that? And you're smart enough. And you're a good enough swordsman. Stop it, you idiot! Will the castle maids be rewashing that for you? Someone like me who works for the royal family can't use the maids. That's very mature of you. Don't be ridiculous. You're way more of an adult compared to me. Are you being humble? I'm not. You know, when I was just about one year older than you are right now, I was pathetically bawling my eyes out. I'm sure you remember. Would it have been more mature if you hadn't cried? Well, no, that's not really what I'm saying. I've decided. Huh? On what? I absolutely will not cry again. Are you saying you'll never cry again? In any case, I won't cry until I'm the same age as I was earlier today. Most likely, around five years or so. Okay, I'll join you in that. What? Five years it is, then. You think I'll let you do it alone? Besides, it'll be a clean slate. Wait, Arthur. This is something I've resolved to do. It has nothing to do with you. What's the point of you doing it? Because ever since two years ago, I've only shown myself looking especially pathetic to you and Princess Pride. I don't want to be seen like that anymore. Okay, but... We're stronger together. You and me, buddy. <sighs> yeah, you and me. Thank you all so much for coming. Princess Pride, Prince Dale, and Princess Tiara. Hey, tell me the truth, big brother. Do you really hate Chancellor Gilbert? I don't hate him. I actually despise him. Do you despise him enough to think that Maria shouldn't have been saved? Hmm. No, that's not what I meant. I like them. Both Maria and Chancellor Gilbert. I'm so glad that they can be happy together again. Big Brother, you don't really hate
hate Chancellor Gilbert. I mean, like, really hate him. What? I mean, it seems that lately, rather than seeing Chancellor Gilbert as an enemy like a long time ago, you seem jealous of him. What do you mean? Well, weren't you always working so hard so that you were better than Chancellor Gilbert? You were thinking about how you wanted to protect Pride, right? Yeah. But even so, Pride trusts Chancellor Gilbert. And even as Chancellor, he is very successful. And he can't be beaten in an argument. You are just too worried about Chancellor Gilbert, Phil. Please, Tiara, do me a favor and just leave it alone, okay? Still, what's the matter? He's all right. He's just a little bit tired, that's all. Oh, I see. Just relax tonight. Why don't you drink some water? <clears throat> but I'm absolutely sure that I cannot forgive you. I despise you. Is that so? Then from here on out, I shall respectfully take your words as a personal challenge, Prince Dale. Hmm. I have an announcement for everyone who has kindly gathered here tonight. I would like to make it known that I, Gilbert Butler, and Miss Marianne Edwards are excited to tell you we will formally come together in holy matrimony. The most heretical last boss queen. From villainous to savior. Episode 9, The Cruel Princess and the Criminal. <laughs> 